So this is my little poem called April in Santa. This is the city for poets. You think Paris, but I say here, just inside the library door, where magazines wait to be recycled into new hands, where in the stacks the poets snuggle up against one another. Paperback by hardcover, living by dead, they hum between themselves, they speak in a frequency heard only by readers. And on the plaza, the poems wait to be written down. They are suspended in the air, a hacky sack flying from foot to foot, a man looking down from a balcony, a cash register tallying up the tax on a strand of jewelry, liquid silver and jet, and the paintings on the walls of the museums, or sculpture in the gardens just words away from saved and savored. How this city is held afloat by art astounds my lovely Wisconsin relatives held intact by milk and road repair. <laughs> they are driving off with turquoise stud earrings for the granddaughters. The birds bank and cycle above their rented car, and I am left here, my pen filled with ink, to immortalize, which means don't let this moment die. City of poems, city of poets, archiving the spring air, tracing the holy pollen count, which after all makes sacred seed of tree. The bird song of Thursday, the vibrations left in the wake of artists who gather like iron filings around this magnet of place. The ticket holders, the tourists, the local girl who never went to a museum before and now skipping through bird and tulip, it's her poem. A little no capital letters E.E. E. Cummings of a boy, a large fat lady, lady singing of a woman. And this opera is not over, it keeps singing, spring, 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 and in Santa Plaza the waiters can't help but burst Broadway over the crowns of poppy, waiting for their clock of scarlet to tick open. On the plaza, my friend Sonny selling glass earrings and barrettes, have you noticed? I mean, how can you help but notice? How many generations of souls from Santa Domingo or Santa Clara sat under the portal through years and winters for the arrival of spring in this holy city where April is never cruel, though windy and more than deep. Saint Francis making us all into instruments of his peace, poets accumulate to jot down the aha of place, the jolt of jonquil, white bark of aspen, nuance of sunset on the cathedral. Any place can be Paris, my old teacher said. And in the library, I check out books. The delicate arm of the librarian tattooed with apple blossoms. <laughs>
And I get a chance this morning to introduce someone who I'm just a big fan of. Um, I'm looking around other oh, guys. Hakeem <laughs> uh, Bellamy is really a jewel for New Mexico, and I think nationally. He's outspoken. He's incredibly articulate. He's well thought. Um, and he's just a guy that I look at. And the first chance I got the chance to meet uh, Hakeem was at one of our Arts in the Parks events. And I didn't know who he was and at the time. And, and, and I got a chance to, to hear him read po his poetry. And I was really taken by it. And so I went home and I got on the internet and I, and I started, and I Googled him or whatever I did. And I got a chance to see, uh, listen to some of his other work. And it's just really, really very impressive. One of the really cool things we had um, last uh, in February during Black History Month was a Roots Revival program that was put on. And I don't know what Akeem's going to do for us today, but he did a, um, a wonderful piece there. And so I was really excited to get him up here and have him uh, share his genius with you. Akeem Bellamy is a two-time national champion in the Poetry uh, Slam scene. He was a member of the 2005 National Poetry Slam Champs team out in Turkey. Uh, the following year, he was a member of the 2006 College Union's Poetry Slam Invitational Champs team from UNM. And uh, he won the Albuquerque City Championship in 2005 and three consecutive University of New Mexico Global Slams title later, later on. Um, he respects the blessings, but he could care less about winning poetry slams, it says on his bio, as opposed to cultivating creativity. I think any great artist, if you would uh, ask them honestly, what's their main goal? Um, uh, cultivating creativity is, is one, would be one of those. And to really put the walk in the walk rather than just talk in the talk, uh, he's actually very, very proud of being the former poetry club coach at South Valley Academy. He's widely published and he's got a long resume, uh, but he's really just a great, great guy. And he's a, he's a great asset for us and he's a great human being. So with that, I'd like to introduce Hakeem Bellamy. Yeah, yeah. Harold 
the other, the other was in his absence is uh, Mr. Bruce George, Dr. Bailey and I worked with. 